doing. You're agreeing with an idea that the correct design for you is one that is out there in the world and you've got to figure it out. I mean, that just sounds horrible to me. I don't know about you. That sounds exhausting. It also sounds really treacherous because how are you going to figure that out? How are you going to know that you chose right? Is it based on who's trending on Instagram? Is it based on who the latest queen of the online space is? There's plenty of them. How are you going to choose? How do you know you chose the right one? How do you know when you bought enough courses or did enough new strategies or stayed on top of the latest new strategies for it to actually be accurate? That sounds terrible. I mean, I've been teaching and preaching against this stuff in a myriad of ways that I have for the last 10, 20 years. Very much so for the last 10 but really for the 20 and 50, uh, 10, like for 25 years in some way, shape or form, I've always been doing that. And now I get to do it with God at the center. So I'm doing the OG correct design version, not the invented counterfeit version. How are you going to know? You can't, it's not possible. But what a terrible thing. What a like dastardly thing, really. What a deathly thing. If you're a messenger who God has given a message to, he's planted something within you that is meant to have Holy Spirit life breathed into it and then it's meant to come through you and it's meant to come out originated from him. Not when you think it should, not how you think it should, not in the way that you you know, have decided that it needs to in order for it to be successful or effective or sales, but in the way that he's originated. If you're that person and then you try to take that gift that you've been given and run it through a filter of what the world says about correct design for success or entrepreneurialism or even for ministry, guess what you're going to have? You're going to have at best a watered down version, a tepid version, a photocopy version of what was actually meant to go out into the world. That is your best case scenario. Realistically, what's happening though is you open up all sorts of doorways spiritually for a spirit of self-sufficiency, self-exaltation, working in your own strength, solely strength rather than spirit-led, And that opens up more doorways in turn for all sorts of other things to come in and all sorts of other things to essentially take place somewhere in the mis, like disarray of false leadership that you've got going on spiritually because you're in agreement with an idea that, well, this is how it has to work for online. This is how the the coaching industry works.